Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. Continuing on our V3 Enhanced Wood Gas Fire Build, today we're going to do the gas exit assembly. So basically, that's the assembly that attaches to the outside of the filter tank that has all the gas that's cooled and filtered that's now ready for use. It goes to the flare and it also goes to your application, such as uh, engine or heating. So the Relevant assembly drawings we've got here. You can see the basic assembly. It's a pretty simple uh, assembly. Here again, you can see the pieces to it. And then you can see here where it is. Basically, it's, it's this assembly here that goes on the side of the filter tank. So what we've got here is Coming out of the, it's got all the parts, not everything's going to be welded. I just wanted to kind of show you how everything fits together. So coming out of the filter tank, we've got a, uh, a silicone 90. Then we've got a 16-inch length of 2-inch uh, exhaust tube. Then we've got a 90-degree 5-inch uh, centerline radius elbow. Uh, and then here we split into two. We can go straight out the back. We want to weld on a 2-inch half nipple. And then we can put a cap on that, or if we're going to go to an engine application, we can put a two-inch ball valve on that. And then going up here, what we have to do is we have to drill a hole into the flared end of this uh, elbow, and we're going to need a, a bimetal hole saw, basically a two-inch that we're going to drill down in there so that we can mount this one-and-a-half-inch half nipple in there. And then to that, we're going to have a one and a half inch ball valve that's going to be screwed into that. And then we go up into the blower assembly. So the bottom of the blower, we have a flange. It's got three holes on it. And then we've got a half inch nipple. So the, this nipple is going to be th threaded in, threaded into the ball valve. The flange is going to be on top. The blower is going to be mounted on that. Then on the blower exit, we've got another flange. It's got four holes. And again, we've got another one and a half inch half nipple that's going to be welded to that. So it's going to come, the gas is coming out. And then to, to make the gas go vertical, we put a 90 degree off the shelf elbow in it. And then that's where we're going to attach our flare to. So these are the basic parts of how the assembly is. So the gas exit assembly is a very uh, crucial assembly because basically the blower is going to act as a suction that sucks the air in, pulls the gas through the system, up through the blower, and then out through the flare. That's how we know we've got usable gas. And then once we've got uh, flammable gas, we can shut off the, uh, the valve and the blower and open up the valve going out here if we're going to go to an engine application. Okay, so these are all the parts. Uh, this is a two-inch uh, exhaust tube, so very similar to the cooling assembly. It's a very light gauge material. This is a butt weld, so use the same procedure that you did on the butt weld on the cooling assembly. Uh, be very careful not to burn through. Um, and when you're cutting through here, uh, be very careful here with the bi metal hole saw. We want this one and a half inch uh, nipple to go down in, but we don't want it to go down in too far and cause an obstruction. Uh, from the gas coming out this way. But we'll look at the completed assembly and then you'll see how that goes. So those are all the parts. Now let's go ahead and look at a, a welded assembly and review that. All right, we're back. So here we've got a gas exit assembly that's all welded up. So you can see here, we've got our 16 inch length of tube but welded to the 90 degree uh, 5 inch radius. Here we've got the one and a half inch nipple cut in and welded. And then we, we welded on the two inch half coupler that goes out. So basically the gas, gas is coming down here and it's an either or. It either goes up to the flare or it goes out here. You can't, you can't do both. So if it's going to the flare, this is either capped or valve turned off. If it's going out here, then this is, valve is turned off so that the gas can flow out there. Now here we've got these supports welded on. Don't worry about putting these on the initial welded assembly. These actually will be added after we've got the filter tank uh, assembly completed. We can mount this on the side and then we position, we position these, 
tabs, these support tabs, once we're going to mount it onto the filter tank. So don't worry about putting those support tabs on until after you get the filter tank assembly. Okay, so that's basically, it's pretty straightforward. Now we do have to leak test this. So again, you can do a water test. You can plug this and fill it with water, or we're going to do an air test just like we did on the cooling assembly. Put a cap on this end, um, put a cap, or actually the valve closed, valve closed, and then up here, put the air intake, feed it some air, and then use our spray bottle uh, with soap and water. And then we're going to test this weld here between these two pieces. We're going to test this weld all the way around this nipple, and we're going to test this weld all the way around this two-inch nipple. Make sure that it's uh, airtight. Okay, so it's a pretty straightforward assembly. Uh, very simple, but very important. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and look at a, a final painted assembly. All right, we're back. Okay, so here we've got our final leak tested painted assembly and we've got the tabs uh, support tabs on and we're starting the final assembly process so you can see here coming out of the filter we put in our 90 degree elbow we come down here we've got our split so we've got go up to the one and a half inch ball valve we've got the lower flange on the blower We've got the exit flange on the blower. On the exit flange, we would put in a 90 degree elbow and go straight up to our flare. On the bottom here, I've got a two inch ball valve uh, so we can go out to an engine. So that's the completed assembly. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all right, everything's looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next assembly.